an exciting. I know that that promotion has been I, like it's been a hot one for you over there. Yeah, I mean, um, they contacted me kind of on a whim because I know a bunch of the guys there, like Brian Edmonds and some of the other guys are from Pennsylvania, so they know me from either RWA or Revenge Pro. Uh, a lot of uh, IWC guys from there, and I mean, it's. <sighs> I can't remember how long Pro Wrestling Conquest has been around, but since I've started, it's just gotten ridiculously good. Like, I'm beyond proud to work for them. I feel lucky and fortunate to work for them because, I mean, compared to most of the guys they book, I'm a nobody. Mm-hmm. And I'll admit that I'm the, I'm the nobody in the group. So I'm thankful, beyond blessed, that I get to be a part of what's happening in the magic that they're making and to be a part of the growth that's Pro Wrestling Conquest. I mean, at the rate they're going, when when I see them and I'm at the shows and everything, and I, you listen to the crowd, and you watch the stuff that's happening. I mean, these are just the kind of company that could turn into, you know, like a, a Midwest uh, pro wrestling gorilla or something, mm-hmm. just with the styles of matching they uh, they book the uh, wrestlers that they book. I mean, you want a high impact action, you got it. You want crazy flips and dives and stuff, you got it. You want Two guys throwing a cowbell back and forth, yelling yes and no, and the crowd going crazy. <laughs> you got it. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. I mean, hell, you mean just the, so many of us like athletes per se. I'm not dogging anybody, but all of us guys that like to do the crazy, cool stuff, moves and stuff. We did everything we could at the last show in your house, and we were all joking watching Jock Sampson versus Dan Housen, and we we're just like. Everything we just did, and it, it had nothing to do with that match there. Like, nothing we did in our match could top what they're doing. And they are they were literally doing nothing, but it was amazing. It was great. Yeah, it was it was a lot, of, a lot of comedy, right? It was a, it was a lot of fun. Right. So. But it, it was perfect for what it was. And yeah. that's, that's the thing about pro wrestling is, especially pro wrestling conquests, you know, everybody has their, their taste on it. And I've always, in my head, thought this, like, same thing as anime. Yeah, you have your wrestling in your anime that's based around storytelling. You have your wrestling in your anime that's, you know, all action doesn't really make sense sometimes. But you know, you love watching. It's like, oh crap, that's cool. That's awesome. It's cool. You know, what's happening right now? And then you have your mix of both. And Pro Wrestling Conquest is one of those companies where you get a taste of everything. You know, your comedy, your action, your emotion, the story, just anything and everything you can get. Beer. I know they they. they uh, push the beer a lot, so there is beer to drink while you're at the show. I'll I'll say it for you. That, you're welcome, that, Derek. That adds a that adds a, <laughs> an interesting fan element to it for sure. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, I mean, hell, the last show the crowd went crazy, beyond crazy, because you had you know Mance Warner out there wanting a beer, and then here comes freaking Sandman out of nowhere with mm. a case of beer, and it was just like, I mean, that crowd went ballistic. And maybe they needed the beer after hearing Julian Hall sing. I don't know, but you know, it, <laughs> it, it's just it's a fun time, and I think it's going to be one of those companies to keep an eye on. And mm-hmm. I hope I can maintain my stay there to be at the pinnacle or at the peak when they reach it, because it's it's going to be an awesome thing to be a part of. And, um, I hope Brian Edmonds is happy with what I'm saying now. We'll call on it. Yeah, you got you got uh, you got to make sure you appease the office. Uh, yeah, so. yeah. Gotta um, get that rub. You that's know? right. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well, even this next show, just to plug it real quick, um, our friends of the show, like the main event, uh, Generation Generation Dead, uh, G Ray Veranda, uh, and and Gory, uh, Ace Austin, and Madman Fulton from Impact Wrestling, the Awakening, the Formula Ascension, Lenny and Lodi from WCW uh, reuniting. On here, Tate Twins, I saw at OVW win the championship when I was down there for a taping. And, of course, some other friends, uh, Facade and Danny Moe, Victor Benjamin, Lady Frost. Well, of course, Frost just on the NWA pay-per-views over the weekend. Uh, and like I said, hey, J- Jock Sampson, of course. Jock Sampson, Cole Carter, and some tag team action as well. Not together. I think they pick each other's partners or something yeah, that's going on. And I won't so. be there because nobody called me to be the mystery partner. So okay. I, I won't be there for that. But, I mean, in all honesty, I might have to honestly buy the show because I mean, <laughs> hell, the, main, the main event versus the awakening when i first found out about that match it's like that's going to be an awesome match that's yeah. going to be one that one right there will steal the show i know it's technically a tournament i mean hell for a first round tournament match uh good luck to everybody else because that one is the show that matches the entire show right there so it's it's going to be awesome good luck to those guys i look forward to being able to watch it 
one way or another.